All right, I'm very excited to finally review and talk to you guys about the Red Wing 1472 Vintage Beckoff. Buttes, these are buttes, and the I'm gonna break everyone's heart or uh, make everyone, uh, I don't know, smack themselves. 80 bucks I paid for these. Yep, I stole these. $80. <laughs> Crazy, I know. And I this, the, on eBay, and I, initially I was like, let me offer 60. But I, they must have been on holiday because they didn't respond. I was like, okay, whatever. 80 is like such a great deal. Perhaps they didn't know what they had. I don't know. They were trying to get rid of. I, it'd be cool if they belonged to a family member. Um, that'd be really cool. It's always, uh, I kind of like to know the provenance of, of a boot. Um, but yes, crazy, right? So um, if you watch the previous review of the whatever it was, the, the 989 or was it the, the 1742? So I'm going to, if you haven't, I'll read this. If you have, uh, this is a repeat just so that, um, okay. So Red Wings 1472, they call this Burgundy, okay? And um, I'll post it again as I did before. Let me scoot over so there's room for it <laughs> while I read it. Okay. Now there are three contemporary finishes in this popular Pecos boot pattern. All feature a full grain leather upper and fully leather lined shaft. Shank is an inch wide steel. Insole is sweat proof leather, 1472 and 1473, um, or new non-collapsible 4,000 cushion sole. Okay. So yeah, it's cool to have two of the three, maybe I don't still jury still out on the, the previous review. Um, but so just getting to, uh, the inspiration, or I should say, I saw a photo of these and then I went on the hunt. This is the photo here. I saw this photo and I thought, these are really cool uh, Pecos because at the time I was tracking down all the Pecos I could. And I knew it would be tough to find them. So initially I went with these. These are Black Cherry Luquese Ropers. And I was like, this is probably as close as I'm gonna get to the vintage Pecos that I saw. I was like, maybe these are only avail available in Japan. I don't know, but so I bought these and I absolutely love these. The color is just fantastic. I'm sure um, if you were following me on the Luquese or my journey of the Western style boots, you may have seen, cause I did this one early on and it is uh, really impressive. This is goat leather, really impressive color, leather, everything about it. Um, absolutely really, really like. Okay, so continued on, found these. And like I said, the condition is ridiculous. Um, burgundy, interesting. To me, burgundy uh, seems a bit of a stretch. Um, this is Black Cherry Goat by Luquese. And then if you remember these beautiful babies that I had created, this is Black Cherry Featherstone that I had made uh, from the Beckman leather. And so, you know, this can easily be... Uh, Burgundy in the Burgundy family. Um, here, let me put this and see how that. Yeah, this this goat leather. If you know goat leather, definitely there's like you know a little a, sh a shine to it finish. But uh, yeah, it's questionable when they say Burgundy. Either way, they're beautiful boots. Okay, so these, as I said, these are cool because they're much softer than. The uh, 17, well, what should I call those? The 8989s? I'm, I'm not sure what I should call the, the other ones, but these are much softer. Uh, leather lined, as they said in the, in the, uh, oh, like, so, man, I wish you could feel the inside of this. It's really, really soft. You, you can feel it's, and it also feels thicker, like if it's like a double a double line like it's oh, such a well well made boot like why red wing doesn't do this again i'm puzzled i'm so puzzled why 
we have the Kemi Gum sole. And again, this sole is in really good condition. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Really good condition on that sole. Now, I've worn these uh, a few times, and, uh, but when I got them, it, I was looking and like, this is great condition. And it has a uh, oil, chemi oil proof Kemi Gum and it has a Goodyear uh, logo on there. So freaking cool. Uh, and the inside is, is uh, white, a white leather, which is really neat. And definitely have like a older smell to them, which is cool. <laughs> but yeah, I just really, really enjoy these. They have a black piping going up uh, on the side welt. Uh, this composite heel as uh, Red Wing does, because if these are, you know, for work, then, um, you know, if you're standing in water, that it's going to do a better job than leather if you're, you know, w walking around in muck and, and water and all that. But, um, yeah, so they, they do have a few nicks here and there, but they're old. So, you know, what, what would you expect? Uh, it's very simple construction, you know, simple um, squared off pull tab on here. Nothing, nothing crazy. No, you know, no, no fancy stitching on the shaft and definitely no toe bugs, which, you know, I don't do toe bugs, but, um, yeah, a, a amazing condition for, for how old they are and for the price, $80. Come on, seriously. <laughs> I, I honestly would pay 200, 300 for, for these and, and the condition they're in. And, uh, yeah, and you can tell, like, uh, I've worn these a lot, as I, as I said, and you can kind of tell, maybe not in this light, but in, in person, how the, this bit is lighter here and this bit is darker because this just stayed under the pant leg and wasn't exposed to the elements. Um, you can, I don't know if you can kind of see if it shows up, but on here, this is a lot darker where um, it may have been, if these were from, you know, uh, the southern part of the United States where that sun is just beating down and, and these, you know, were used for whatever work or leisure um, up here is much lighter. So the, I, this would probably be the original color of the boot and then this would be um, the sun-kissed and possibly, I don't know if, if people, when they condition their boots, they just do down here and don't do up here because they're not exposed. I don't know. I've conditioned every part. Um, but um, yeah, it's... Uh, just a really amazing um, boot that uh, didn't get, uh, whoever had these took really great care of them. They, they loved them and took uh, an amazing, amazing care of them. Uh, so let's do an on feet and see how they look on feet. Okay, so it feels like ages since I've actually come outside with a pair of Red Wings. It really does. So this is the Red Wing Vintage Pecos that I found on feet. Um, I, I had to do this in natural light just to show you guys how they look. And so I'm wearing a pair of left field chinos in the chocolate. These are the duck chinos in chocolate. And I think they just look fantastic with these uh, vintage Pecos. Of course they look great with denim, but this is what I pretty much wear uh, in have been wearing in this heat and um, it's just more comfortable to me chinos are, and this type of chinos that left field makes look really good with boots they fit perfectly over the shaft of a boot so what do you guys think i'm very curious i, f I absolutely love these and i when they arrived um, i took them out wore them quite a bit and then of course took a break and then I wore them again simply because uh, the sole being a Kemi Gum sole. And I know if you look at the other boots that I have, that I don't know how to walk. So my heel ends up getting all wonky. Um, so I'm kind of like wear them, but not too much because I kind of want to keep that original sole on them. I know I can get a new Kemi Gum sole, but I kind of just want to keep them completely original. But Burgundy, they call this burgundy in natural daylight. I don't know what you guys think. I have to look at the monitor when I go back inside and see how the color translates, but 
I think they're just absolutely wonderful. And if anyone has owns these or if you can find these, get your hands on these, it's definitely worth it. It's very comfortable. Um, I've worn these uh, around the city, like I said, walking and not uh, no discomfort, no pain whatsoever. So the only thing is that obviously these belong to someone else or someone else broke them in. So that to me is the only negative because my feet weren't the ones to make the imprint in the insoles. So that's a bit of a bummer, but nonetheless, it's just like all around a very, very good find. And yeah, very happy with them. And I think they look amazing. Even with this newly painted wall behind me, if you remember how it looked before. Just look at the sole. Being a vintage boot, that sole is in decent condition. It does have a few nicks here and there, but I won't complain. They're a pair of old boots, but there you go. Feast your eyes, fellas, and a few ladies. <laughs> The one thing that I wanted to mention that I didn't mention on the on feed is I'm a huge fan of, uh, of old Western movies. And if you notice in the old Western movies, a lot, not a lot of guys wore denim. They were a lot in either some kind of uh, cotton or wool trouser. And that's kind of how I style my uh, Western style boots. I do wear denim, but just not often. I, if I really try not to wear uh, denim at all. Um, I prefer just like a canvas chino. Um, so uh, that's one thing that I wanted to mention when I did the on feet. So there you have it. These really cool vintage Red Wing Pecos, the 1472s. Absolutely amazing. And there are some floating out there that you can probably find on eBay or somewhere in the, that secondhand market. And uh, it'd be really cool if Red Wing um, decided to actually make remake or some kind of version leather lined and just you know there uh, there would be a market for them and um, I think they would sell but who knows what Red Wings doing these days <laughs> um, so thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time with this boot this Pecos this is the uh, 8156 this is a Japanese release that I was able to track down, and um, we'll review this one next. It's a very cool one. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time with another pair of pickles. Be a boot. See you guys next time.